Here we would show an Ed Puzzle presentation on the importance of stretching. This would usually be given to the students the night before or the day before to add extra knowledge to the material needed for class. Types of exercise. 2008 Physical Activity Guidelines for Americans suggest everyone, adults, teens, young kids, older adults, accumulate a certain amount of physical activity each week. For adults, the guidelines recommend at least 150 minutes, two and a half hours of moderate intensity aerobic activity every week, plus muscle strengthening activity. If you're in. Question number one. How many minutes should adults work out? Hundred and fifty minutes. If you're able to do more, the guidelines show strong evidence that there are additional health benefits if you can increase your moderate intensity aerobic activity up to five hours a week. That's three hundred minutes. So question number two. For additional health benefits, adults must increase moderate intensity physical activity up to five hours. True or false? The answer is true. What is aerobic activity? Aerobic exercise is anything that... What is any activity that elevates the heart rate for an extended period of time? Aerobic exercise. It elevates your heart rate for an extended period of time, it makes you breathe a little heavier than you do at rest. Things like walking, running, jogging, ballroom dancing, and so on. Even raking leaves or trimming the shrubs counts if you keep it going long enough. The word aerobic has to do with oxygen and how your body's metabolic or energy process uses it. Aerobic exercises, sometimes called cardio exercises, increase your heart rate and work your muscles and they raise your breathing rate. These help to strengthen your heart muscle, improve your circulation, and build your endurance. So for aerobic exercise, you're exercising for a long period. For anaerobic, think short and fast. Nowadays, most people refer to anaerobic exercise as muscle strengthening or strength training. People can say pumping iron, lifting dumbbells, lifting weights, strengthening exercises, less cardio. Basically, use short bursts of energy to work one part of the body at a time. It can help you build strong bones and muscles and make everyday chores like carrying groceries easier for you. With more muscles, you burn more calories, even at rest. Along with aerobic exercise, adults should work up to doing strengthening activities at least two days a week. Question number four. How many days should you do strengthening exercises per week. Two. And be sure to exercise all the major muscle groups. As you exercise longer, more often, and at a higher intensity, the health benefits become even more extensive. Double your time or intensity, and you lower your risk of heart disease, diabetes, stroke, hypertension, and depression even more. Federal guidelines indicate that along with keeping away unhealthy weight gain, 300 minutes of weekly exercise or even more lowers your risk of colon and breast cancer. The point is, regular exercise improves overall health and reduces the risk of many health problems. And this would conclude the Ed Puzzle presentation and students can expect a pop quiz when they return to class. Okay, this is the presentation we will show before we do our listen focus. It's called Why Do We Stretch? On this slide, we will explain the important reasons for stretching. And on this slide, we talk about the two main types of stretching. It's active stretching and passive stretching. And on this slide, it talks about the three forms of stretching, which are ballistic, dynamic, and static. And this slide explains the definition of ballistic stretching. And here are some examples of ballistic stretching.
And here's another example. And on this slide, we explain the definition of static stretching. And here are examples of static stretching. Here's another example of static stretch. And this is the dynamic stretch, and this is the definition of dynamic. And here are examples of dynamic stretching. Here's another example of dynamic stretching. This will conclude our presentation. Okay, after showing our slideshow in the AirPods video, we will start our lesson off with an introductory activity of stretching for two to three minutes. And then we will do our lesson focus, which will last about 15 to 20 minutes. And the kids will do different skill sets with traveling activities. We will need a large area, and skill set one would be walking and creative expression so we could travel in a general space like a so soldier, a giant, a robot, grandmother, or anything like that. And skill set two, we will um, use correct form of walking. You walk with your head up, eyes forward, shoulders back, tummy in, toes forward, or swing heel toe, and just listen to the different cues and just discuss the importance of using correct posture while walking. Okay, first students will toss the knee back in the air and catch with both hands. Okay, next the students will toss the beam back with their left and catch with their right. Now they will toss with their right and catch with their left. Okay, now the um, students will toss the beam back and try to catch with the back of their hand. Okay. Now students will toss the beam back and do a full circle before catching. general space of correct form of uh, marching. Skill set four is traveling in different directions, pathways, and levels while laying in effort so we could travel or jog in the general space of one classmates. Um, we could do forward, backward, sideways, we could do paths, zigzags, we could do freeze, travel north, south, east, and west, um, travel at different levels. Okay, in skill set five, we would do toss in the kitchen with beanbag activities. Um, you can toss a beanbag in the air using both hands or 
with one hand only, tuck and beat pitch with the right hand and the left hand, or you can do it with a partner or turn around, you can do it in a seated position, squatted position. There are different ways you can do it to amuse it. Okay, and our covenant activity will last five to seven minutes. This is just a fun activity again to enhance daily instruction or reward appropriate behavior. Okay, the name of this game is Airplane. Okay, we will do starting and stopping lines, the distance of 20 to 50 feet between. Okay, the skills are running and locomotive movements and stopping. Okay, students will line up on the line in push-up position. The air traffic controller will just...